Hey YouTube, um, it's Lex. I am coming to you because I told you guys that I had my um, my appointment for my pulmonary clearance today. So I did. <laughs> and um, I'm going to kind of just give you guys an update on how it went. So my appointment was at 9 this morning. So I got there. Um, again, I'm with TRICARE, so all of my referrals had already gone through. They took me into the back and they had me do a series of breathing tests. Maybe for like, um, maybe it took like 10 to 15 minutes of like just breathing into this thing and different breathing patterns and stuff like that, like deep breaths and stuff like that. So I did that. Oh, one thing is if you have a nose ring, they make you like put this big clip thing on your nose. So if you have like a nose screw like I do, Make sure, like, just take it out because it hurts and you have to put it on. So, I did the breathing test. I went back out into the waiting room. The nurse came and got me and um, brought me into the room. And um, she took my, like, blood pressure, all that great stuff. And then um, she asked a whole bunch of questions about, like, my sleeping pattern. Not so much my sleeping patterns, but... She gave me a whole bunch of different situations and asked me if I would fall asleep in that situation, like in class or riding in a car for an hour with no break or like different situations like that. So I answered all those questions and then um, I went, we went and did some chest x-rays. I just had to take off my bra, I could keep my shirt on, did two chest x-rays. She brought me back into the room and then I waited for the doctor. Hi, bar. In case you guys didn't know what the pulmonary test was for, again, um, it's on my, um, it's on my, my checklist that, again, is backwards, so you guys can't read it, <laughs> but, um, under pulmonary clearance, it says to determine if the patient has sleep apnea or any respiratory disease, and to determine if the patient needs a breathing medicine before surgery, so, I didn't have any breathing issues um oh the doctor came in and told me i didn't have any breathing issues but in order to test for sleep apnea what they have to do is they have to um they have to like study you overnight so i didn't i didn't know that so um she brought me up to the front and i had to schedule an appointment for an, an overnight test um she says it starts at um like, I had to be there at 9, 15 p.m., and I leave at, like, 7, which is good because I have class the next day. So, yeah. Um, so, in here, they, they gave me this packet, and in here, it tells you stuff about, like, um, how to prepare for the um, test and stuff like that. And the doctor prescribed me three generic ambience, one for, which is a sleeping pill, one for um, the night of the test, one in case I, ha I do have sleep apnea and I have to go back for the second test, and one just in case it's like I drop it or something. So after I do that test, Two weeks later, I have to come back and get my results. Now, this is the only thing I had a problem with because I've been trying to get um, all of my clearances done before I go to Miami, which is on the 12th. Today is the 25th. So, my appointment is w is scheduled for, like, the 25th of next month, which completely throws me off because I wanted to have everything done before then. But... They say, you come back two weeks later, they tell you your results. If you do have sleep apnea, then you have to go back for some other procedures. Hopefully, I don't, and, oh, and she said, if you have sleep apnea, the best way to fix it is to wear a mask while you sleep. So, hopefully, I don't have sleep apnea because that that's not cute. So, all of that to say, um, my pulmonary clearance, I thought I would be able to check it off today, but I can't because... I still have at least two more appointments before I can get that checked off. So now all I have left is my psychological clearance and my dietary evaluation and my upper GI. I have my upper GI scheduled um, for, let me pull up my calendar. Again, when you guys watch this, it's not going to be today, so you guys will understand the dates, but okay. 
It's a Monday starting next week. Next Tuesday is my sleep test, so I sleep over Tuesday night. Next Thursday is my dietary evaluation, and next Friday is my upper GI. So, I will be getting done half of the pulmonary clearance, my upper GI, and my dietary evaluation all done next week. This leaves two things. I'm so excited because I'm getting all of this done really quickly. Um, the second part of my pulmonary clearance where I come back and get my results and my psychological clearance now. This psychological clearance has been giving me so much trouble because I can't find a psychologist. And you'd think, like, okay, so they gave us this list um, of different people we could use, but they only listed one psychologist. And I called him, and his schedule and mine just aren't compatible. So I then called my insurance today, but they had, like, this automated system who gave me psychologists, but they're not clinical psychologists. So that's still in process. Like, I'm, I don't even know who's going to do my psychological evaluation yet. But... That's the only problem, and of course, the um, getting the results for my sleep apnea test. But so far, so good. It's coming along, along really, really well. I've gotten everything else done. The things that I didn't list, um, like I told you guys in the first video, my TSH level um, and my check with my primary care physician have, all, of course, been done. They were done on the same day. Um, actually, my TSH level, is it's your thyroid blood test. I actually didn't have to do it because I just got it done a couple of months ago. So, if you're doing this and they give you a checklist and you have to have your TSH levels, I'm guessing all of them do. Um, before you get it done, ask your primary care physician if you've done it within the last, I believe it has to be within the last six months. Yeah. So, ask because I don't like, I don't like needles, so... If you don't have to do it, then don't. So yeah, this is just an update um, on what I'm going through. So yeah, I hope you guys um, found the video like helpful. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask me. I'm not really YouTube savvy yet. Savvy? Savvy? Savvy yet? So I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to answer your questions. Or I'll just make a video about them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's Lex, and I will make a video next week after I do my sleep test. Bye.